automatic tools that I use in my uh, home garage. Uh, really, what I have is, um, at best, uh, it's not pro-consumer, or maybe it is pro-consumer, but really, it's it's really just consumer-rated items. Uh, they're not super expensive, and they're not designed for heavy use. Uh, so what we'll take a look today at, uh, number one, is going to be the air compressor. Uh, this one here is a Craftsman, and interesting story on this in a moment, but this Craftsman is a six-gallon pancake uh, compressor. Uh, this can handle up to 150 pounds per square inch, and what's really nice about this, it actually has two different ways, or I can plug in two hoses at the same time. And I'll show you where this hose goes in uh, just a couple minutes. Um, right now I have it off, and I do have the main tank pressurized. Uh, if I take this knob right here, and I turn it up, I can dial up how much pressure is going to go out the hoses. Uh, over on this side here, you're going to see a couple other tools that I have. I've got a few more that are going to be coming in, but these are the main ones that I use right now. Uh, let me slide over here. What we have is a RealWorks. retractable hose and this has 40 feet of hose and right now what I have uh, is just the nozzle on that so I can uh, blow off various uh, things, the dust, what have you. Uh, so we're going to keep that down here as well. So we'll throw that down. Let's go back over to the compressor. There we go. Tighten it all up. Sorry for the jiggle there. And we're going to dial this puppy up. So we'll put it up to 50 pounds and very easy to use. And that's it. Uh, you do have the quick release. And we can change it over to the next one. Uh, what I did buy is this digital. See if I can get that tilted in right. This digital hose. Uh, so this is what I use to fill my tires and we'll give a little example of it. But what's nice is you do have the digital readout and uh, very, very accurate. And you can change the type of units and also turn the light on anytime you want as well. And of course, having a good old impact wrench. There we go. Let's get this uh, in reverse, an impact wrench for the tires and uh, any other nut that's uh, or bolt that's really hard to get off. So let me extend this out. We're going to take this to the rear tire of my car. Now that we've moved over to the back of my Mustang, uh, we're going to take uh, my pneumatic tool, uh, the ratchet and also known as a um, impact driver. And we're gonna just take a nut off and put it back on. Now, I do have the air compressor off. Um, usually I would do this with the air compressor on so that I can max out the power. So let's put this on. And we got that off. Switch it over. We'll get this threaded, three or four threads. And, and on it is. And that's, really what that does. So let's uh, move this off and let's go and check the uh, tire pressure. And we'll get the uh, <coughs> cover off here. Got my little special one. Let's see if I can get that to show. Uh, there we go. There it is little Mustang one and let's see if I can get this so you can see there we go we can not sure if you can see the reading there but 
very simple to use. I think most people know how to uh, to use tire pressure gauges and be able to inflate a tire. That's pretty standard. Uh, but what I do like about this is that I can take pretty much any tool that I want and uh, get a job done here. Let's see. Let's take that off and clean a few. Whoops. I need to do it this way. Well, that ain't going in. There we go. Get some stuff clean. And there you have it. What I do like about this is, you know, for example, keeping my tires inflated. I've got the 40 foot retractable. I can take it out into the driveway, pull up any car into the driveway and uh, get the tires filled. Otherwise, what I have to do is find a gas station that has free filling. Now, out by us, we have what's called the Wawa, and they do have uh, free air filling, but sometimes you have to wait for other people. Uh, the, the weather's crappy uh, when you really need it the most, uh, or, you know, it's not working. Uh, and that's happened many times. They've got a bag over it, and uh, lo and behold, you just can't uh, get what you need. So really, I do like having uh, the ability to have an air compressor in my home garage, a few pneumatic tools. Uh, as I said, I do have a couple more coming in. Um, I am looking at getting a, um, a, a smaller ratchet wrench, um, air driven ratchet wrench that'll be kind of from the side so I can get into the small places. Uh, it'll run at uh, lower PSI. I'm also going to get a really cheap paint gun. Uh, I'm going to try and practice uh, getting um, things painted with that rather than using rattle can and hopefully I'll be able to master a technique uh, because eventually when I go to uh, restoring another car uh, I'm going to do the paint job myself so I'm going to teach myself uh, the techniques of painting and do it with a cheap gun first and then I'll eventually purchase a larger one. So there you go. Uh, down below, there's going to be links to everything that's here, and the prices really aren't too bad. Uh, the this is on Amazon right now. They're they're asking twenty five dollars for this. Uh, there's a couple other accessories with it. Uh, however, I got it for under fifteen dollars. So look out for it. There's a, a number of um, ones that are similar to this. Uh, you shouldn't pay more than fifteen dollars uh, for the digital. The um, the impact wrench, uh, this cost me $53. The actual Craftsman uh, pancake air compressor, that cost $120 for a full kit. Uh, that did include this, it included a hose. Uh, and in the beginning, you saw the hose and uh, that was curled up. I didn't like the hose it came with. It was really stiff. It was kind of tough to handle. It also came with the ability to fill balls, fill tires and things like that, and a separate pressure gauge. So there's a whole kit with it for about $120. Uh, so overall, you don't have to invest a whole lot of money, but it's going to help you out an awful lot in your home garage. With that, make it a great day and may the Lord richly bless you. And together, we're going to have some blood, sweat, and